folks, and welcome back to Glenn and Adrian's Rock Talk. That's Adrian. And that's Glenn. And today, we're going to take a look at a brand new performance by The Warning that happened at the Europe Music Awards for MTV. This was just on Sunday the 10th. Our normal protocol is to wait a week for new material of The Warning, just so that the original uploaders can get some views. But this already has 180,000 views, so I figure we're okay. I don't think we're going to have much of an impact on their numbers. They performed Automatic Sun at this event. And my understanding is they killed it. I have not seen the performance yet. Adrian, can I assume you haven't seen this yet? I haven't seen it yet, but it sounds like we're in for a treat. All right, so let's go ahead and check this out. spectacular performance of the warning i have seen yes yeah no, i agree adrian and as a matter of fact i noticed that the uh, the lighting on there was it was kind of blowing my mind just the whole setup with the lighting bays above them and the way that they moved and uh and the different uh visual things that they were doing and of course those two long rows of pyrotechnics 
which I was kind of happy to see was nowhere near them. (laughs) It was well designed so that there wasn't going to be an issue. Uh, Maybe that helps too with getting clean recordings of the performers. I don't know, because we've seen what happens. Sometimes that's a problem. Yeah, it's also the most uh, audio spectacular performance I've uh, heard of this song by The Warning. Yeah, so both audio and visual. (laughs) Yes. You know, again and again, the live show always exceeds the album (laughs) version. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I noticed that they extended it out in a couple spots, too, at the end and then in the middle when Danny was speaking a little bit to the audience. Mm. Danny has full command of the audience. Yeah, yeah, completely. Uh, and I could tell that was a live, it was a live performance, you know, you could, I could tell just from Danny's vocals. And you'll notice that whenever we've looked at them on a show, they've been playing live. Well, there's a reason for that. They did it once via miming and they, they disliked it so much. They said, we're not going to do that. Even if we have to, we'll come in with an acoustic and play them acoustically for you. But we're not going to mime to it anymore. And they've stuck to that and it's made a difference. They were on it as usual. They are so professional. They pretty much always kill these things, but they really did here too. So I'm glad that they had that platform to be seen across Europe, and um, I hope they get a whole lot more fans out of this. They were up for an award. They did not happen to win, but just the fact they were nominated was pretty good. So while we're here, there's a bit of footage from the red carpet. The sound is horrible, but I thought since we're here, we may as well take a quick look at it. It's only about two to three minutes long, so feel like checking that out, Adrian? Okay. 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 Uh, so, how does it feel to be in Manchester? You also performing tonight? Yeah, we're super happy to be here. It's our first game. We're nominated. We're performing. It's just such a huge thing. We're very happy to be here. And so, what, what can we expect? What have you prepared for us tonight? A very powerful performance, but we're really keen on this time. So, this way. And you've been on tour. I mean, how's it been? And yeah, well, yeah, what's what, what have you enjoyed the most, maybe? Okay, time for our next star. I have a feeling that the red carpet tonight should maybe be blue just for this. Please welcome the star of Manchester City ladies team, Leila Ohabi. Hello. Hello. Well, I saw you on Zoom earlier in the week. You're looking very different to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you feeling? How excited are you? So amazing. It's an amazing view. We are so, I get, I'm a little nervous, but I can't wait. I can't wait. We're so happy and proud to be Mexican women in rock, representing our country in this stage. And honestly, a big shout out to the MTV for giving like opportunity to rock in this amazing show. Well, we don't see that many female rock- rockers necessarily in bands, and we definitely don't see that many Mexican female rockers. So do you feel very privileged to be in that position? Do you think you're a good example of people coming through? How do you feel about that? Well, we are just very proud that we get to do it. We're proud that we get to do it with our music and just do what we love, and that by doing that, we get to represent like our people. So hopefully people do feel inspired by that, to just follow their passions no matter where they're from, because maybe one day you can also be at the yeah. red carpet. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. I'm very excited about seeing tonight, if anyone you're like, going to be hunting down. Ray, Ray, for Ray. sure. Oh my God, I'm so excited to see her performance. She's just amazing. amazing. Okay, so that was three separate interviewers. That's For those of you that don't know, that's how a red carpet works, is essentially you've got one media outlet here and then another one right next to them and another one right next to them, and the people walking down the carpet can pick and choose who they stop for if they want to. Um, and it looks like they're just going right down the line, good for them. So yeah, it was a little tricky to hear, but it, I liked how uh, Pow and Danny kind of switched off there. Pow did the first one and then Danny was doing the others. 
Yeah, I couldn't really hear what was going on or anything, but you, you could tell by looking at them that they were pretty psyched. Yeah, as always, they were professional, they were on point, looked like a really good event for them, you know, because all of those people are going to write about them, presumably, and here's hoping they really, you know, they need as much press as they can get at this point. They are they are on the rise, they're becoming a, uh, a much wanted interview, it would seem, and by the way, they do seem to be having an impact on the culture. I did hear that one of the questions was, how do you feel being in this position where you're, you're essentially going to be a role model? I mean, warning covers are on the rise, it would appear. I, I heard a really nice version of Evolve yesterday. Definitely happy about that. As a matter of fact, the, uh, the bass player in the cover I saw was emulating Allie quite a bit. She was doing the dive bombs, and she had hair like Allie's, and she was flipping it back and everything. It was really something else. So I was like, all right. Yeah, so that band is called The Lightning, by the way, and they just put this up uh, yesterday, as a matter of fact, So, mm. uh, which would be November 12. Oh, Adriana is her name mm. on the bass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Querétaro, Mexico. So I think this is somewhere near Guadalajara, if I'm not wrong. I'm not positive about that. Don't. Anyway, um, <sighs> cool. Very cool. Uh. So the warning are having an impact. So we'd like to see that. Oh, yeah. An excellent job on Automatic Sun and their performance on the show. And um, it's just great to see that they really are having an impact. Power to them. Power to everybody that takes some energy from the warning and lets it inspire them into their own bands. And folks, why don't you let us know what you thought of this particular clip? If you have other suggestions for us, leave those below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you enjoyed our presentation, please subscribe. Okay. Thanks so much for joining us, and we will catch you on the next one, all right? Take care, folks. See you all later.